Hey there everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. If you use Star Exterminator for PixInsight, then you may have noticed with a recent update that you got access to a new little tick box that says Unscreen Stars. Now, I would advise in all situations basically using this from this point on. However, I realize it's not completely straightforward to use, so I took the liberty of, once I'd figured it out myself, how to use it, of creating a small set of pixel math tools that you guys can download and use at your leisure. I'm going to talk you through the differences between what I was typically doing up until this point, which was just a simple addition math of starless plus stars versus this rescreening method, which actually is advantageous because it doesn't add any additional brightness to perhaps already bright parts of the image where you run the risk of really burning things out. So I think the best way to talk about this is just with a quick demonstration. So once you actually go to the Google Drive link in my description box, you'll find a little set of tools right here, something called Luke's Rescreening Tools. I've just called them that. You can just drag and drop these into your PixInsight window and they should load in. If you don't immediately see these, that's absolutely fine. You may just need to hit right click and arrange icons and that'll bring all available icons from any workspace onto the one that you're currently working on. Now, why should you rescreen? I think the best method of showing this is just with a basic demonstration. So right here, I've got an image already prepared. So this is a typical stars image and a starless image, as you can see. And what I would normally do uh, in all my previous tutorials and things like that is I'd hit to create a new result and I'd do starless plus stars. Go ahead, add those together. And it works. It works fine and it looks all right like this. But you get exactly what you ask for. You do get a simple addition of starless plus stars, and that can create issues, particularly in brighter regions of an image, as we're going to outline in just a moment. So we'll do a side by side comparison of these once I've created the second uh, basic image by demonstrating the use of these tools. So if I just close down the pixel map there a moment, you can see I've got my main two images stars and starless and I'm going to talk you through using the little tools that I've got right here my uh, pixel math so you want to drag the first icon that says starless for rescreening onto your starless image just drag and drop it'll create a new image for you already renamed to the correct identifier that we're going to use in the third part of the pixel math now use the second tool in the sequence called stars for rescreening drag that over onto your stars only image I'll make a second one for you. And then at this point, you can simply drag and drop the third tool, Rescreen Starless Stars V1, onto any window you like, and it's going to create a new image for you called Rescreened Result. Now, if you take these two methods and put them side by side, so let's say the simple addition math, so Starless Plus Stars versus the Rescreened one, and we'll zoom in on a perhaps a quite a bright area uh, containing some nice, maybe nearly overexposed stars in reality. Uh, so somewhere like here looks pretty good. We'll just clone this view over to the next window. And if I just drag this over a little bit, you can hopefully see with these side by side that the rescreened result is actually giving a much more natural look to these stars. So it's not introducing extra excess color or anything like that and it's keeping the brightness at bay a little bit more if you particularly look perhaps towards some of these smaller stars so this little region right here you can see the stars are much more sub subdued and much more natural and perhaps more representative of the base image when you've rescreened your result together so i think that really the best way to talk about this is by you guys doing your own experimentation perhaps and looking and seeing the results for yourself and uh, i think you'll agree like me that most of the time I know people pull percentages out of the air all the time but literally about 90% of the time now I'll use rescreening math instead and I thought this little set of tools that I've made might be of use to some of you guys out there uh, as I know it's not immediately apparent how to use this so um yeah I'm just putting this out there as a short video may help some of you guys I'm sure many of you have already got this kind of thing figured out so uh to everybody who's watched Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that this was useful. So until the next one, look after yourselves and clear skies.